Hey, what's up, Big John, aka Operation iDroid here, and welcome to my live reaction of One Piece chapter 813. If you'd like to read this chapter with me, you can click on the card right here or follow the link in the description below, and we can read this chapter together at the same exact time by following the page overlay I have right here in the top corner. With all that being said, super excited for this chapter hopefully we get more backstory on sanji because at the end of the last chapter we were finally revealed his last name like his real last name and apparently he's the third son of the vin smoke family and that is just mind-blowing to know although we don't even know who the vin smoke family is we just know that he's kind of like royalty or something of that nature nevertheless um, I hope you guys are ready. I hope you have your page one up and good to go because we're going to get started in just a couple of seconds. But before we begin, be sure to hit that like button if you're excited to start reading this chapter. And now, without any further ado, let's head into page one. All right. So page one, of course, is the chapter page. And yo, here we see Laboon. We haven't seen Laboon in a minute, dude. That's pretty crazy. Um, nevertheless... This chapter is called the Tea Party Invasion, which I guess is simply referring to um, Capone and how, well, actually, it's called the Tea Party Invasion. So someone's invading the Tea Party that they're having with Capone now. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Page two. Shout out to Manga Stream for translating this for us. They're amazing. Always put in so much work to provide these for us. Um, but the actual chapter starts back on page five. Yo. <laughs> You know it's serious when Sanji drops his cigarette. Like, you, Sanji does not waste cigarettes. You do not want him to drop his cigarette. But then, what? At the tea party? A shockling declaration brings chaos in its wake. Sanji's getting married? Groom. Yo, he has like an official like paper too, like a document. Look at it. Groom. Third son of the Vin Smoke family, Sanji. Bride. 35th daughter of the Charlotte family, Perrin. Take it. Yo, look, it's like an official invitation. It's like, this is serious stuff. Like, they're already planning this. Why? Why now, of all times? Like, I'm supposed to know. What the hell is going on in your family? Vin Smoke? So that's Sanji's last name? The name sends a bit of a chill down my spine. No, it can't be. Okay, so he dropped his cigarette. Because <laughs> he was so, like, surprised and it started a little fire. What the hell, bastard? You trying to burn down my castle? Hey, Sanji-kun, what's the meaning of all this? Are you really gonna get married? Who in the world is behind this hair-braided scheme? Yo, Sanji is extremely mad. Like, he is legitimately pissed. Like, did you see how mad he, like, his, his expressions? Like, he is mad. Your family, you dumbass. For a son of this Vin Smokes, it sure don't look like you were groomed properly. Ha ha ha. Oi, more wine. Yo, so clearly, like, the Vin Smoke family is, like, some high-class... Family. Like, I, I said royalty, but maybe that's not the case. Like, they're a very wealthy family, I think is a better word. Sanji's family? Speaking of which, yo, and then here we have the flashback of the time that he said he was from the North Blue. Um, which was when they were talking about, uh, right before they went to Skypea. Or was it, I, I don't know, it was around that area. Okay, even though we met Sanji in East Blue, he did mention how he was born in North Blue. And come to think of it, I always thought of something smelled fishy about the whole story. <laughs> Wait, what? About him? Wait a second. That's actually a huge deal, Nami-san. To go from North Blue to East Blue, you must cross the red line. Exactly. That's no average family relocation. It's a full-blown voyage. Sanji-san, just how in the world were you raised? More importantly, if you knuckleheads haven't realized it yet, Charlotte is Big Mom's last name. Don't tell me this jerk's bride is one of Big Mom's daughters. Yep, she definitely is. What? Sanji, that, does that mean you're going to become family with one of the Yonko? What's more, if this guy, your crewmate, becomes Big Mom's relative through marriage, that means a lot, means you a lot become de facto underlings in her crew. Don't get ahead of yourself. I have no obligation whatsoever to go to this tea party. Okay, so the tea party is the wedding. Yo, do you see Sanji's face? Look how mad he looks. But this is a flashback. Clearly, Sanji went to the tea party because he's not with us right now. Okay, so here we go. Sanji's talking. How utterly asinine. Marriage, and with a woman I've never heard of, let alone met, 
And don't think for a minute that you'll get to scoop up the straw hat pirates just like that. Our captain ain't the type of man that would tolerate being anyone's underling. Luffy's the man who'll be king of the pirates. Yo, it's so awesome when they say that. Like, it just gives you goosebumps. Like, each time they say it. Like, can we count how many times they've said Luffy's gonna be the pirate king? Like, when you say something a lot, it usually happens. And now, our little talk is over. I'll let you keep Caesar. Let us go. What? There seems to be a... a Grave misunderstanding. All I've done is show you your invitation. I haven't asked for a yes or no from you after all. At all. We're inside my castle, okay? Yo, you've already been captured. You're on a one-way trip to Mama as we speak. You probably didn't even feel it, but we've already started moving. What? They're gonna kill me. Please let me go. Yo, Caesar's going crazy. If it's a fight you're itching for, be my guest. Keep in mind, it's funny how he said, be my guest, and he's already in his body as a guest. Okay, never mind. Keep in mind, however, that I have complete control inside this entire castle. Yeah, that's pretty, look at that. The chandelier, like, randomly got knives. The tablecloth is, like, wrapping around him. Cannons out of nowhere. That's pretty weird, dude. Like, that is a weird devil food power. Ah, what? Nami sinking. Nami. Everything inside this castle bends to my whim. Besides, even if you decide to put up a fight here, you can not escape Mama's tea party. Everyone in the new world knows this, except for you, apparently. Right? Mama hates two things. Bitter treats and tea party snowshowers. Those ignorant enough to ignore Mama's invitation will find themselves the very next day choked by regret. It's truly a pitiful sight, I'll have you know. Yo, this guy's going crazy, what the heck? Wait, no, this is another guy. Who is this guy? A tea party invitation from Mama Mama Rero, that Mama Rero? I don't even know what he's trying to say. Is in reality nothing more than a summons order. After all, they say that even the demons of hell will come when Mama's to Mama's tea parties. Okay, so this is Fire Tank, Pirates Advisors, Advisors, Monster Gun Veto. Of course, at the end of the day, whether or not you go is totally up to you. But allow me to share something with you, Rero. Why does he keep calling? Okay, I think it just says Rayro, like, at the end of all the sentences. Um. So, he, like, whispers in his ear, and then Sanji just gets, like, immediately angry. Like, shocked, then angry. Okay. I wonder what he told Sanji. That's pretty weird that he just, like, I, you know, like, I really, like, dislike when anime... Uh, specifically anime, like when you see a character move their mouth, but they don't translate it or they don't add like any voice to it. So they keep it a secret for a while or like in manga, what they just did, like he said something, but like you couldn't hear them. Like, it's like, damn, I want to know. How the hell did you come find that out? Okay, so Sanji said that. A foolish question. One of the emperors of the pirate world herself, Big Mom, is our boss. If she tells you to die, you die. Do everything she tells you. As if your life depends on it. You better at least be prepared to do that much if you don't want to end up anyone's underling. Okay. Alright. Sanji, are you okay? What did the man whisper in your ear? Get me a pen and paper. A note for Straw Hat? Okay, so this is the note that Sanji wrote for Luffy. Um, give this to Luffy and the others. Nami-san, Chopper, Brook, please believe me, it was not my intent to keep things hidden from you. My friends. Okay. I honestly never expected to have to have to face this part of my past ever again. And now I've got no choice but to go and put an end to it. What? Not we what I'm sensing a powerful presence outside. It's probably one of the minks. Ready? Watch your heads on the way down. Okay, wait, what? Okay, so then uh, Brooke, Chopper, and Nami were able to escape, which we already assumed would happen because they're they're on the island right now. How did they escape? Like how did how did Sanji like like do that? He just like pushed them down somewhere and they escaped. And like this guy didn't even know what was gonna happen. What? He helped his friends escape. <laughs> you know, it's funny how he helped Nami, Brooke, and and Chopper, but he did not help Caesar. What about me, that bastard? Yo, oh, Sanji just put up bullet to his uh a gun to his face jesus all right don't move a muscle or i'll prepare your precious genius scientist skull damn you black lev all that crap about the wedding made me realize you guys can't kill me can you 
In fact, you've been told to treat me like a delicate freaking flower. I'm betting you won't even cuff me. Remember my wanted poster says only alive? If you kill me, someone is going to be very displeased. The, purpose, the person who insured my wanted poster says what it does, and the person who finalized my marriage are one and the same. What? Wait, wait, wait. The person who insured my wanted poster says what it does, and the person who finalized my marriage are one and the same. Who could that person be if it's not Big Mom? Like, I doubt Big Mom has the power to put or alive on a wanted poster. So it has to be someone else that does have the power to do that and is the one that arranged this wedding. But who would arrange a wedding with Big Mom's, like, daughters? Like, who would want to do that? Damn, so many questions. Damn it. After that one... After the ones that escaped, don't fucking move. Did I not make myself clear? Just who do you think I have at my back? As I said, I'll do it. I'll go meet him and settle things. So don't you dare lay a finger on my friends. Everyone stay put. Yeah, okay, so he said I'll go meet him. So Sanji knows who's like pulling these strings, whether it's his father or or someone. But yo, oh shit. Neko Mamushi came to the rescue right now. Outside, we're face to face with a monster. What the hell is that cat? Yo, you know what I just realized? Nekomamushi kind of looks like the other mink that um, Capone just killed in the last chapter. Okay, master, you shouldn't be up and moving about yet. Oi, you, who are you? Peckham's, okay, yeah, Peckham's, that was his name. I couldn't remember his name. Is out cold back there, covered in blood. I'm one of Peckham's friends. Truth is, we were attacked by one of Jack's remaining crew members. Sanji-kun, come out. Why are you still in there? What in the world is going on? Talk to us, Sanji. Let's wait for Luffy and the others. Sanji-san, quickly, come out here while you still can. Okay, Nami's right there. Clearly, Capone's not going to be able to lie to Nekomamushi's face. So, I think there's going to be a fight on her hands. Or Capone's just going to hightail it out of here. This is my problem. I promise I'll be back. Tell everyone I said hi. Yo, Sanji, what the heck? Sanji, castle tank. Okay, so then this guy just books it. That's what I expected him to do. Nami, chopper, do you want us to chase that thing? No, it's useless. Stop, Wanda. Bone Baron? Even if we were to catch up, he he has no intention of returning. To my buds. <laughs> it's funny how they translated that. To my buds. There is this chick I gotta see real quick. I'll be back, I promise. Sanji. An olive too sudden party. Okay. So he said he'll be back. That's a good thing. We already knew that, right? But he said there's this chick I gotta see. Who is this chick? Because it's probably the same person that put or live on the on the wanted poster or and, and the same person that arranged the marriage. But, um... Even so, like... Do you think Big Mom has the power? To, like, or put or alive on someone's wanted poster like they did with Doro? I mean, not with, with Sanji? That, I don't know. I don't know. Nevertheless, dude... Pretty solid chapter. Um, I'm really curious to find out who this person is that's like pulling all these strings just to fuck with Sanji. Um, the person that sent Big Mom's crew to go capture him. Uh, the person that put Aura Live on his wanted poster. The person that set up this random ass wedding. But it seems like Sanji kind of already knew about this wedding. Like this was one of those like engaged marriages from birth. Like it seemed like he knew because he was like, what? This is happening already? Why now? Or maybe he knew that he was going to be like married to whoever the fuck this person saw fit but it's weird like why would this person want to marry a yonko um we originally thought that sanji was somehow related to government because he was because his wanted posted said or alive the only people that could do that would be the government who issued the wanted posters but now i don't know now like it's kind of like difficult to think like is it a pirate or is it the government still? But why would the government want Sanji um, to marry one of big... I don't know. So many questions. So many possibilities. It's pretty crazy. But it's a solid chapter, dude. The year of Sanji is here. 
Um, it seemed like last year all we were wanting to know is what is going on with Sanji, and now we finally have our answers. And I'm curious to see what's going to happen um, now that um, Nami, Brooke, and Chopper have explained the story to Luffy. I wonder if the crew is going to go out to Big Mom's ship and try to rescue uh, Sanji like we've seen them do in the past with Robin and other members of the crew. Or are they just going to let Sanji do his thing and hope, hope that he keeps his promise and he'll be back? I don't know. Anyways, you guys have heard my thoughts. I would love to hear your thoughts about this chapter in the comment section below. Um, if you enjoyed reading this chapter with me, don't forget to hit that like button as it helps out the video tremendously and I truly appreciate it. But with all that being said, I guess I'll see you guys next week for another chapter of One Piece if there is one. Because I'm not exactly sure if there's going to be a break uh, next week or not. Um, I don't know. So I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comment section below if there is going to be a break. But if not, I'll see you guys next week or in any of my other videos if that's your thing. And as always, thanks for watching this with me and keep being you.